This video is going to walk you through using the order of operations and to remember the order of operations we're going to use a mnemonic device called PEMDAS or please excuse my dear aunt Sally. So these are this is an important rule to be able to simplify expressions like the ones down here. So you have to follow a specific order or you're going to get a different answer. So we're going to talk about that order and try some examples. So the P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses. And these are going to be any type of grouping that you might see in an expression. So they could be regular parentheses, brackets, or sometimes you might see a fraction bar. If you see a fraction bar, that means division. But in order to simplify that, you're going to simplify the top first and then simplify that bottom. So like separate groups. Okay. Now the next thing you might see in an expression that you need to simplify would be exponents. And that's what the E stands for. Now exponents can be a variety of things, but the most common that you'll see would be something like x squared or x to the second power, or x cubed is x to the third power, and so on and so forth. Now it's important to remember that x squared doesn't mean the number times two, it means x times x, or x two times. Similar, x to the third power means x times x times x, okay? So, the next two are kind of funky. There's some special rules when you see these two operations together. So multiplication and division kind of go hand in hand. So I'm going to show you different ways that you can see multiplication and division and then how to work with those together. So multiplication, most often you'll see parentheses. So if you have two right next to a three in parentheses, that's telling you to multiply those two things together. You also might see a dot. That means to multiply. We rarely use x because that could be a variable, so be careful with that. Okay, and then division, you might often see a fraction, as I said before, that means four divided by two. You could see that division symbol, or you could see a slash. All of those things mean division. Now, the special rule I was talking about and why these are together is because whenever you have these two things together, you're going to do whatever comes first. Okay, so if I have an example like this where I have 10 divided by 5 times 3, I know multiplication comes first in PEMDAS, but since they're together in the same expression, since division actually comes first with those two operations, you're going to do 10 divided by 5 first. So just keep that in mind. The same thing goes for multi or addition and subtraction. These two things go together. So add and subtract, pretty self-explanatory for those operations and what they look like. We have addition and subtraction, but when those two things come together, you're going to do whatever you see first again. Just with these two. Oops, see first. Okay, so if I have an example of 3 minus 2 plus 1, Subtraction comes before addition in this expression, so I'm going to simplify that first. Also keep in mind you can do adding the opposite, add the opposite, to change any subtraction into an addition, and now you only have to deal with addition. So let's do some examples down here so you kind of get a gist for what it, how it works. So this first example here, the first thing I see is yes, I do have parentheses. So I'm going to simplify those parentheses first. I'm going to underline that. And then I'm going to bring everything that I haven't dealt with yet down. So now I have a brand new expression to look at and figure out what comes next. So in subtraction and division, division is always going to come before subtraction. So I'm going to do 6 divided by 3, bring down what I have left, and my last operation leads me to an answer of 7. Next example, I see some exponents. That's going to be the first thing because since there's no parentheses, and remember, 3 to the second power actually means 3 times 3. So when I do that, I get 9, and I'm going to bring everything that I haven't dealt with down so I have a new expression. Now I see division and multiplication in the same problem, so I'm going to follow this special rule. So I'm actually going to do division first and bring everything else down. Multiplication always comes before addition, so my final answer is 17. Next up, this is a really important problem, um, and I'm going to walk you through it. So I see parentheses. That's always going to be first. And keep in mind that this is going to give me a negative number. So 2 minus 7 is negative 5. 
And you'll notice that this four is right up against those parentheses. So in this example, I'm gonna actually leave negative five in parentheses and bring everything else down. Now I have addition and remember this means multiplication. So multiplication is always gonna come before addition. So four times negative five is negative 20. I have five minus 20, which gives me negative 15. Now last but not least, I have a grouping problem where I have a division symbol. So division is gonna be my final um, step, but I'm gonna simplify what's on top and then I'm gonna simplify what's on bottom. So in my top, I have some exponents again. So three times three is nine. And then I'm just gonna recopy down, not even touch what's on the bottom, and continue to simplify the top. So nine minus four is five. And I'm just gonna recopy down the bottom once again. Now I'm gonna focus on the bottom. So I have five on top. Whatever I see first here with these two operations, I'm gonna do subtraction first. So 11 plus four. And finally, I get five over 15. Now in your calculator, always see if you can simplify or divide. Remember, this means division. So when you divide those in your calculator, you might get a, a decimal or it simplifies to be one over three, okay?